patch the quarter crack on this guy's foot. You know, first we shot him with a with a shoe with frog support, but as far as using the Equilox to patch a quarter crack, uh, just preparation of the crack is probably the most important first step. You know, first I cleaned out the crack with a Dremel, just got it good and cleaned out, and then I packed it off with a barrier. Um, I just used some Dical, but any kind of barrier or disinfectant powder over the bed of the crack. Uh, it's important. You don't want to, you don't want to put glue directly against the uh, bed of the crack because it's a perfect environment for bacteria to to grow. A little bit of moisture accumulates under the bed of the crack and they get an abscess under the under the Equilox patch. So or cotton. You can always pack it off with cotton. It's an absorbent layer that'll also prevent it from abscessing as well. I'll use some tape just to cover up the coronary band so we don't get any glue on the coronary band. So I don't want any glue there and I'll also put a little bit of tape on the shoe as well. I don't want to put it, I don't want any glue on the shoe on this case. We're just patching the crack. So we'll, just, we'll just block off what we don't want to get covered with glue. And then for this you can use a, you can either use a, just fiberglass fabric or in this case we're using a, a carbon fiber and Kevlar mesh. It's just a little stronger. So I'll take about three three strips. You know, we'll cut them about the length that we want to bridge the crack with. You know, so we'll, we'll cut some strips up about that length. A two ounce jar of Equilox. Again, we'll, uh, just two ounces is usually all you need. Uh, for smaller cracks, for smaller feet, you can probably get by with one ounce and maybe just two strips. This is a pretty big horse, so we're going to use three strips and two, two ounces. And then, you know, you can use, we're going to use a black Equilox in this guy's case as a a little black pigment just to match the color of his foot, just looks a little bit better. Doesn't seem to care, does he? Take a little bit of Equilox and just smear it across the crack. Okay, and I'll take uh, one strip that's been covered in the Equilox, just bridge it across the, the crack. Sometimes these strips want to stretch out like that when you go to pull them. If that happens, you can just fold them over, make them thicker. Yeah. Take a little extra glue just to clean up the edges. At first, I put more glue on than I need, then I'll go back and just clean up all the excess. up the edges. I like to wait for the glue to get kind of tacky and then I'll wrap it with the plastic wrap. That makes it really compact and strong, really presses the glue into the fabric and into the wall, makes a nice tight bond. So usually you just usually you wait till it gets tacky. And once the glue starts getting tacky, we'll we'll go on and wrap it with the plastic wrap. So it just presses the glue nice and tight into the, the fabric. You be careful when you're wrapping it with the plastic. You don't want to you want to shift the patch. You want Keep it in the same spot there. 
So I'll pull it pretty tight over the heel bulbs and then just lay it over the patch so I don't move the patch. I'll pull it tight, just lay it over the patch. Tap on it with your hoof knife and you get that, that fairly solid sound. It's, it's about cured and if you feel it, it's kind of cooling off. So this is ready to take that wrap off. Clean it up a little bit. You see it's nice and tight and strong and shiny looking. That's a pretty strong patch there. I may just take a little bit of extra, I may take a one ounce jar of Equilox and just clean up this edge here where it's a little rough. I like to see a little smoother like how it is back by the heel here. wrap it, just make it look smoother. tighter. Pull this tape off here. I like to make sure there's no glue on the corner of band. That's why I put tape on there. And if I get any up under there, I'll clean it off. Looks pretty good. It's a good Good strong patch that'll last a couple of shoeings. Uh, that'll really stop the movement of that crack and it shouldn't bleed. And uh, I let that I leave that patch on until as it grows down, I trim it off. And if it gets loose, sometimes it has to be redone in a couple of shoeings. Otherwise, I leave it on and trim it out with the normal hoof wall. Once this quarter crack is about a quarter of the way grown down, I don't even patch them anymore. I just pull the patch off and leave it off. Once it's out of the corner, it's been a good. Good half inch or so, it's they don't really need to patch anymore. So that's pretty much how we'd patch a quarter crack with equilox and fabric.